Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have an exciting unboxing from Atelier Mamoni. This is my Merlot Mamoni that you guys have seen me tease over and over in so many videos and she is finally here. She's got a Rakuru Sensei face up that is amazing. I've seen photos of her. It's funny because two days ago I asked Lola, hey, have you shipped um, Merlot Mamoni? And she said, yeah, I shipped her a couple weeks ago. And of course the next day she arrived. So it was like, it was so crazy. Like I was so excited um, that she showed up and I am so happy. Let's see. Um, Hi Allison, thanks for letting me kidnap here for her for a while. She's so gorgeous. Hope you like the candy and the charms. Big hugs, Lola. P.S. The yellow is for Shira, so there's something yellow in here for Shira. Um, I told her she could hang on to Merlot Mamoni for a while. That's why she said let her kidnap her for a while to take some photos and stuff because this doll, y'all, is stunning. She is so, so, so stunning. Ooh, Kinder Buenos. Yay, I'm out of chocolate right now too. And, ooh, ooh, look at these dark chocolates. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Let's check out the charms. She's been making, um, I think, like resin charms and stuff. We've been talking about it. And for those that don't know, I have become friends with Lola. She came here and stayed with me for a while. We've done some, we went to a doll show together and it's just been, it's been really cool. It's been really frustrating the last two years with the pandemic because she lives in Spain and I'm here in the States that we haven't been able to see each other. And so, oh, this one's for Shira. Look how cute that is. It says butter. Oh, you know why that says butter for Shira. If you don't know, go follow Shira and you'll figure it out real quick. How cute is that? All right, let's see. Oh, look, it's a Mickey Mouse. Oh my gosh. Lola, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love this. And inside, y'all, oh, I love the way they smell. They have that resin smell. It's got like all this confetti inside and there's glittery Mickey heads inside. That is so cool. I love the way they smell. That is so, so cool. Ah, a bubble tea one. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. That is, look, this one's got liquid inside. Oh my goodness, the cat. Look at that. It's like boba's inside. We had boba tea together in Epcot. That was the first time I ever had it. And she was like, you gotta try it, Allison. Cause they have, in the, they're in the China Pavilion in Epcot, they have a boba tea, a bubble tea stand. And um, she made me try it. And oh my gosh, I've been obsessed ever since. I've been finding all the bubble tea places around town and going there. Oh, these are so cute. And this one's for Shira, which she's gonna love this. I know she is, she's gonna freak out. So I'm not gonna tell her, I'm gonna wait till she watches this video and sees it. Oh my gosh, though, those are so, I love those so much. All right, let's get to the doll. Ah, I'm so excited, y'all. Cause this doll is so stunning. Like I have already seen, like I said, I've already seen, she came out like so amazing. Um, and to my knowledge, this is the only Mer Merlot Mamoni out there. Like I had asked her, she did the last pre-order for the big Mamonis and I asked her, hey, would you order me one in Merlot? And she said, yeah, I'll order you one in Merlot. And she, I don't think she ordered another. So um, not to say that this will ever be the only Merlot one, cause I'm sure it won't be after you guys see this. <laughs> I have a feeling other people are gonna want one, um, but I haven't gotten one of her big dolls since I got Mamoni K in 2019. So this is very exciting for me, like to get another one of her MSD size dolls. I know that everybody loves the Pitoussis the much, the most, her favorite size is the Pitoussis, but I'm not gonna lie, my favorite size is the original Mamoni MSD size. That is my favorite size of her doll. So I am so thrilled to have this. So let's see, so here is, Mmm, the resin smells like already, gosh, I love that smell. That new resin smell. So here, um, here's her artwork. They all come with artwork. If you haven't ever gotten an Atelier Mamoni doll, you get an original piece of, well, this is not original, but it's a print of the original artwork that Lola's done for her characters. And then I've got, oh, this is a, look at this card. I think this is a new card. I have this print. She did prints of this picture. Um, 
She sold them at Elle Doll and I have this print hanging up in my doll room. You guys may have seen it in some of my doll room tours. Um, then there, there's her cart. I'll of course link all of her information below. Um, she does pre-orders a few times a year and she does stock sales a few times a year too. So um, her dolls are just so fantastic y'all. So here's my um, certificate from Rakuru Sensei that she has her face up. If you haven't seen my pictures of this doll, or her pictures of this doll, because she took a lot of pictures of this doll too, y'all are going to be blown away when you see her. Like, she is so incredible. And there's her certificate of authenticity. I love all the goodies, like the extra, like she's included postcards. It would be funny if I write her a note on the back of this postcard and mail it back to her. <laughs> that would be, that would be kind of like metal, wouldn't it? How cool is that? But anyway, so those are her postcards. All right. And then she came in this awesome, she's wrapped in this awesome bag. Check that out. And oh, look at this color. Look at this color, y'all. Look at the color. Oh my gosh. I love it. I already love it. And she's not, I have saw me in this color. And of course, purple is my favorite color. And oh my gosh, she is stunning. She is so stunningly gorgeous. Let me get the foam out of her joints. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see her face, but I want to get her like ready for her face. When I get her face out, let me blow the, and that, that, all that foam helps protect the joints in transit, of course. So I'm going to pull the bubble wrap carefully. Oh, there's a rubber band here. Okay, let me get the rubber band off. Bubble wrap off. Oh, she is stunning. And Lola made her eyes. I love that teal color. Teal and purple are like aerial colors, Charlotte Hornets colors, pure 90s, my childhood. Like those, that combo of colors, I just love so much. Oh gosh, she's gorgeous. She's so gorgeous. So I've got um, one of Lola's outfits here I'm gonna dress her in. I've got one of her original Don't Call Me Doll t-shirts. This is her original design. So I'm gonna throw that on her. I took her face off to put that on as you guys saw because number one, I don't wanna mess up the face up and number two, the shirt just goes on a whole lot easier um, without the face being on. Now, some people may not know this, Lola used to make BJD clothes before she started making BJDs and her clothes, y'all, She's she went to, um, she has like a lot of education in fashion design and I just love her doll clothes so much. I would love, my dream would be to find somebody that's selling some of her old, older um, doll clothing like that I never had a chance to collect because I wasn't collecting BJDs back then and let me buy those off of them. That would be really cool to be able to get some of her old stuff. I've found a few pieces of her older clothing that I've bought in the secondhand market because seriously, I just love it so much. You know what? I think these overalls are for the flatter butt now that I'm pulling them up on here. I don't know if they're going to go on her because these overalls were made for Mamoni K and her booty is just a little bit flatter. Let me see if I can squeeze them on. Okay, so I did get them on. I just had to like squeeze them up over her hips. Um, they are a tight fit because again, they were made for Mamoni K and she is a little bit slimmer in the booty. So I'm gonna put her face back on. Now I do not have a specific wig for her yet. I brought this one out and maybe too much purple. Um, if this doesn't work, I'll definitely um, go through my stash and kind of see. Oh, I kind of like it though. Like I kind of like all the purple. Oh my gosh. This wig needs a little bit of like gel to like tame the flyaways. Look at that. Y'all, I adore her so much. This doll is so gorgeous. No wonder Lola wanted to hang on to her and take pictures of her. Like she is absolutely stunning. I love this color. Hopefully y'all she'll offer this color for all of you in the future like for pre-order because this color is just just out absolutely outstanding like so outstanding i really like the purple wig with it too like it's not the same color purple as her resin obviously but 
Again, I need to do some, some taming, but I oh, love it. Now, I can't really, I'm having a hard time bending her legs. I'm gonna have to put leggings on her. I'm gonna have to take these off because they're too, they're too tight for her. I just wanted to put her in all Lola's clothes, but I'll leave her in this top and I'll get her a pair of leggings to wear. Gosh, I have some of her dresses so I could actually put her in one of the dresses. Ooh, I could put her in one of the cat dresses. Oh my gosh, that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably do that. Oh y'all, she's so gorgeous. She's so amazing, amazing. I love this doll so much. I absolutely love this doll. Hey buddy, stop messing. She is fantastic. And I don't know, if you've watched my channel for a long time, like you would know what the Mamoni sculpt and the Mamoni doll means to me. My Coco Mamoni is like one of the most important dolls in my collection, the most important doll sentimentally to me. And so to have her now in this beautiful Merlot color, I'm just like, I'm over the moon. And Recruit since they did such an amazing job on her face. I love the color of eyes that Lola chose for her. Like everything about her is perfect, y'all. This doll is amazing. I think I need to give her a manicure. I think I'm gonna give her a manicure. Maybe do a little light blushing on her hands. Oh my God, I love her. I love her so much. All right, guys, I will link all the artist information below in the video description so you guys can check it out. I am just, I am so <laughs> thrilled right now with her. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon, Lindsay S, Leah W, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, Diane B, Kelly L, Cindy L, Susie W, Krista R, Victory Run, Shorna R, Shower Star Hobby, Stephanie W, Jessica S, Ray M, Asia C, and Black Y. Thank you so much for your support. Your support helps me continue to bring you great Dolly content. For information on how you can become a supporter of this channel, please check the link in the video description. Thank you for watching.